Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 3 video. We're back on the middle and main line. So big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show it off. And we're going to be taking a look at one of the Steam Rail Tour services. Uh, in which you will require West Cornwall Local and the Steam Rail Tours pack. This is a slightly more modern uh, iteration of the Jubilee. But here we are at Nottingham. Uh, we're going to be taking this festive, fest, festive service down to, along to Derby. Um, and yeah, I've said it in December as doing it in summer would be slightly odd. You could still do it though. Uh, let's get him. I have turned down the audio a little bit for the game as it's probably going to be extremely loud until that safety valve goes. I'm just going to turn it down even more. Um, so yeah, it might be a little bit quiet just as it's so loud. Uh, let's get the doors shut. Uh, I've got to try and remember what we have to do on this one. That's fine, I think. I think that's fine. Well, I can't remember. No, that one always goes like that. I know that. And then that one. Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go along. We should be alright there. Yeah, we've got Leander. Uh, or Leander. Uh, yeah, of the uh, Christmassy lights. And look at that. I think you even get the little. Um... There, here you got the little music box. I'll wait until that safety valve goes off first, so. So, as you want me to hear anything. There you go, right. Let's think about going. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Isn't that stunning? Brilliant, and we'll get the uh, cylinders like that, and we're off. Goodbye, Nottingham, which actually looks really, really nice. Cool. Go down a bit. So we're non-stop to Derby, which is only in 13 miles, so it's not, I suppose, that long. It's 20, I think, 25 minutes or so. I suppose it's still a little bit. And I also, once that safety valve is fully off, I'm going to turn the audio back up. There we go. I might hope it's not too noisy now. But once our safety valve is off, it will be, it'll be fine. There it is. That's, I'll do it right back up now. Right, let's quickly do it. There we go. So you should be able to hear it all right now. Little audio test. That livery is so, so... I love this livery on, on the Jubilee, the sort of BR, black and red. It's so smart. It's really, really good. And it's quite cool having the Christmas lights as well. Never too early for Christmas, eh? Let's put that down. Put that up a little bit more again. I'm actually coming across onto the... I suppose this would be the up... The up... Well, I suppose it's the up line, isn't it? Not the up slow or up fast yet. Coming onto the up line. Which I'm assuming is the up line. There we go. What a stunner. Uh, let's see if we actually haven't got any lights on... We'll go for that, or is it the one with the one at the top? Well, we'll go for that for now. It looks looks the best. Put that a bit more as well. I think it's down to 35 on this one, if I can remember correctly. Yes, yeah, stunning, stunning locomotive. And for this, you don't actually need Spirit of Steam because you need West Cornwall Local and the Steam Rail Tours pack, which is much better. Because it gives you a more modern version of the um, of this train, we can also do that as well. Like that. Yeah, it gives you a more modern version of the Jubilee. Because on Southeastern High Speed, it uses Spirit of Steam still, and you've got like the old, just you know, 1950s uh, iteration of the um, Jubilee, and it just looks really weird. Whereas this looks more well, this looks more right. Get that fully up, bring that fully down. Yeah, I think it's 35 on this one, you can bring it down to. 
Oh, we're gonna have to press that with my pick that thing then. What did we? That's close, it's very close. It's very close, I think. Drop miles to Derby. Lovely. The rats in Christmas lights as well. So you may be watching this near Christmas. Happy Christmas. Or maybe you're watching it on the on release day. Well happy Christmas to you too. I think it would have been nice to see maybe a non-festive rail tour service as well, at least one. Um, but you know, it's still a rail tour service, so you can't complain. I'm guessing this also is a seasonal service. So as AI you probably can only see it in December. It's a bit weird to see this in the middle of summer as AI. So I'm sort of hoping it's a seasonal service. Lovely. Now as we shoot our way along. Oh, our lights. Let's get a full by shot. And there's also another cool layer on this one, which is the... Um, the class 45 rail tour. We'll be doing that one as a video as well. Sort of try out all the different services uh, as videos. I don't know if we'll do the ROG 37, maybe. I don't know. Nice mix of coaches as well. We've got the maroon, we've got sort of blood and custard. Which is nice. Makes a change. Slowly pick up our speed. But yeah, stunning. Uh, coming up on Attenborough Station, I just hope the audio is alright. Hopefully, it, I'm not too quiet uh, as opposed to the steam load coming. That might be a good thing. The logo is, does sound really good. I see myself going up to the red on the bar. Well, probably a good thing for this logo. I'm turn down, I'm turn it down just a bit. What's going into red there, which obviously isn't really what you guys want. Let's have that down. There you go. There we go. Brilliant. Oh, we've got, oh that's not good. Oh, probably for the junction. Hopefully. That's gone now. Don't know them, but we are following something. So, no, that was Beast at Attenborough, is the one after. But yeah. Yeah, the wrong way around. And then Long Eaton, Spondon, and then Derby. I don't know the station south though, very. I know it's Leicester, I think, then is it Siston, and then something else, and then Loughborough, and then all the other Beast with us Parkway. I don't need to learn them. We're going to have a fly by shot. But it's nice to see more steam trains being utilised on routes. It's, it's great. And just, you know, the, the, I suppose when trains in world, like the East Coast Road Rail Tour, for example, it's quite bland because there wasn't really much you could do. Uh, you know, we didn't have steam then. Um, we did have Mark 1, but we didn't have steam. I don't know, it's just, I suppose, nice to see uh, trains from other routes being used on, well, other routes. More and more. I'm going to start slowing down soon for the 30. We don't really want to derail. That would not be uh, not be nice. Bloody safety valve, go away! Turn it off. Well, that would be very dangerous though. Yes, yeah, so we'll start sort of bringing that down to 30. I might even bring it down a little bit more just so we can apply a bit of power to try and shut up that safety valve. Put that down, we've got to turn down my audio a little bit. That sounds really loud. Myself. 
that's coming down at a fairly good rate at the moment. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. Yeah, we'll let that do its thing. Yeah, that's actually at a really good level. We've got that at the moment. And I'll probably come a little bit below 30 as well, just so we can, you know, power off a bit. Let's see. Love that's really good actually. Should get AWS going off. Should. There it is. We're down to 30 now. So that's the main thing. I'm gonna put that up a little bit as well. For a slightly lower speed. That'd be fine. Right. Yeah, no, stop putting coal in. It's fine for now, right? Steam pressure, it's okay. Don't put more in, just leave it. Otherwise it all comes to me. We've got the uh, 30 coming up. I'm enjoying this run. Yeah. It's been, been nice so far, and I haven't really noticed as much popping, I suppose probably because we're going much slower. So, <laughs> that's also a, a good thing. I think we did give a fairly, I suppose if you have seen the first look video, I think we did give a fairly good, you know, picture of the route. Um, you know, we were critical of some some things, but that's better than just sort of being like, oh no, it's, oh, it's fine, it's amazing, it's perfect. I know we used to sort of be like that, but, you know, I want to give a, I suppose, a fair review. So we've got that 10 mile an hour limit coming up, which I think might just be because it's trying to bring us down, well the signal at least, the red is just trying to bring us down. Steam. Well, hopefully it does clear, I mean it might not clear. I should obviously assume it's not going to clear. Oh, oh, it's cleared though. As soon as I say that, we have got a 10. It's a very um, tight junction. And this just links. So I suppose, yeah, the root shape is a Y. You know, Leicester's at the very bottom of the Y, goes up, you've got this junction here, one bit goes off towards Derby, and the other bit, I'm trying to do it because it's opposite on the webcam, that bit goes off to uh, Nottingham. And this bit sort of uh, links it. There's in a way the middle and main line, this sort of section, it's almost like a big circle. Uh, we don't have that circle on Trains in World. Um, but it sort of comes up and then you've got, it goes all the way up here to sort of Sheffield. But then these two, this line here, and this one here, then join back up. They sort of join back up, like over here somewhere. It's like one big circle. Although with peak forest, we actually are getting a little bit of that amber gate. It's just there. I think yeah, amber gate is about 10 miles north of Derby. And that'll be the start of the um, peak forest route, the next steam route from TSW. So it would have been actually, it would have been quite nice for the peak forest route to go to Derby. Um, as in, we could have sort of seen how it looked modern day and uh, in the 60s. But that's no biggie. I wonder where that one goes though. Where, where, where's that one go? Some, where, where's that go down there? I don't know where that goes.
Oh, that's good. So, run that down. And eight miles of pretty fast. This is uh, this is sort of the fastest uh, leg of the wide to go. It's a bit slow when you go towards Nottingham. Get a flyby shot through Long Eaton. Should be uh, up just round here. Let's do that. And there we go. What's the train behind? Uh, is it 10:42? Oh, 11:37. Oh, so that's probably what we're following then. Yeah, because there would have been a 10:37. I have to keep an eye out for that. Because if it stops at Spondon, then we're gonna have a gonna have an issue. Here it comes, though. Can you imagine all the train spotters lined up. They're all over there, all on their cameras. Would actually be nice to see more of that. Or just something like that. Um, you know, when one of these services is time to come through. Maybe at you know, the stations you could actually see people with cameras watching the train. And then, you know, once this is scheduled to pass, they then you know, walk off and vanish. Little extra details to make it more of a, a world. Oh, that's quite nice. Let's get another flyby shot. Lots of flyby shots. It's always good getting flyby shots with steam trains. There it goes. Christmas Express. We're also looking forward to giving the other rail tour service a go, which for the other one you need North Trans Pennine. And that gives you a double headed peak service. So two class 45s and then Mark 2s behind. Which I'll actually be recording after this. Uh, I don't know which one will be released first, but you'll see one of them. You'll see you'll see them. It's buzz buzz. Six uh, or so miles to Derby. So we're over halfway now. Well, we're about halfway actually, aren't we? About 13 miles at the beginning. Well, this bit is much quicker though. Just saying this view for now. Um, well, I suppose this view isn't really that exciting. You can't really see it on the video, you can't see as much. So, with steam, I like to get more outside shots and just enjoy the beauty of the loco and the livery and all the lights. Running out 60, but it does, doesn't feel smooth. Although there's a steam train, so I'll be able to smoke all the steam cars in that. It's a massive footbridge. There's like some sort of like big venue here. Look at that. Oh, where's the need for that massive footbridge here? It's not like some sort of venue which happens in these fields or something like a massive car boot or something. They do like a massive passenger uh, footbridge. Look at that, a mile already. That was like the quickest mile ever from when I said, you know, near enough six miles. So in a couple of miles we should be going through Spondon. Hey, you've driven ten miles. We are on the Xbox at the moment, um, and sort of out of the early, sort of out of the release day videos, we should then be on the PlayStation. But it should look the same uh, on the PlayStation 5, um, and on PC it should look relatively the same. But I like to show from a console perspective, that's what we do. We are console players, mostly. We've got a yellow coming out, that'll probably be that 37 pass from Long Eaton. I guess it probably is something that's bonded. in the blue. So we're getting just in case. 
I'm sort of hoping it goes green. So that sort of happened for everyone so far. They've gone from yellow to green just as we get there. So fingers crossed that might happen, but... And there we go, it's gone green. Nice. I'll probably see yellow for the next one, though. That's what we'd like to see. Yeah, see here. Mm, so we can sort of see it loading in. Like literally just in front of us there, sort of the grass, sort of just loading in front of that. Damn, like that. Then behind, it just, yeah, even behind it sort of goes away very quickly. That probably could be changed. Um, somehow, sort of, I don't know, but it doesn't look pretty. Three and a half miles to go, we really are going for it. Now we have to do peak service. 45. Nice. Just over three miles. Yeah, not too long, and I imagine we will be getting the new um, steam locomotive again, which will be the LMS uh, Fowler, yeah, LMS Fowler 4 uh, which is a much smaller locomotive to be used on the Peak Forest route, which is Amber Gates, Buxton and Chinley, uh, which is coming out, well, we don't know yet, but probably fairly soon. I don't think it would be uh, a mile off or so. Especially if you compare that to the Nidertal barn, where you've actually got like reeds in the water, just a bit more. I suppose on the Nidertal barn, I mean, I suppose it was worked on perhaps of the ages, um, and it is TSG. Um, but yeah, just the, the rivers, they look so nice on the Nidertal barn. That you couldn't really notice the sort of jagged sides to it, because it had like, you know, uh, plants and vegetation all up the side. Which I suppose is what a river usually does have. There's definitely some sort of scenery improvements I would like to see. But overall, it is what it is. Right, uh, just it's not that far now. That's just that's being quick. Very quick. Slowly, I suppose, bringing that down. But yeah, we're coming into Derby. And I don't think the football stadium is modelled. I don't know what the uh, name of the uh, model, uh, name of the stadium is. Yeah, I don't think you can see the stadium. I think it's the Derby, Derby FC ground, or Derby City ground. Is it Derby City? Oh, no, it's just Derby, isn't it? The round. One of my first FA Cup games I went to. Well, not actually the first, but the second one. Brighton versus Derby. It was like uh, February the 8th or 12th, 2019. And Brighton won. So, it was good. Yeah, I mean, I suppose it looks a bit better than the other bit there, but still, it would be nice to see a little bit of uh, vegetation, uh, foliage, along the side of the river. Just to, I suppose, sort of block out the sort of sharper edges, like what we saw in the Nidgetail barn. Everything I just compared now to the Nidgetail barn. The Nidgetail barn is like the holy grail of just like, almost like perfectness of scenery, detail. So. Very low clearance there on that bridge. Hopefully we'll be cleared into the station. I'm sort of hoping we are. It's not very far now, is it? Just over half a mile. Should be cleared into it. 
I don't know the signal blocks on here yet, so they might not be. But hopefully. Pop that up a little bit. And yes, it's not pronounced Derby. I've heard a lot of people calling it Derby. No, it's Derby. Put a northern accent on it as well. That's proper. There we are, cleared in. Cool. I suppose also going in the external camera has given us a nice uh, look of the uh, scenery as well. That's just, just sort of the best camera to go in for steam trains, isn't it? The external. It's like a model, model train set. The question is, if we got East Midlands trains in the game, I remember we'll see South West trains, because East Midlands trains license, I think is owned by Stagecoach, and Stagecoach also owns South West trains, or what they, they do. Um, so yeah, I wonder if we would see a um, South West trains route in the game at some point. Probably nice to see a preferred rail route. Although one thing, it's actually nice to see a diesel route, a diesel UK route in the game. I don't really mention that. I must have something different. Right, let's try and be careful here. I don't want to be uh, screwing this up, really. Ideally not. Oh, we got to go... Oh my god, we got to go really close to the signal. That is scarily close. Uh-oh, spadding coming. Little sign, staff mess room, that's nice to see. Little things like that. Really make a difference. Things, I bet it'll be a funny checkpoint as well, so if you go like one yard off it'll be like move forward. Four's usually fine. You got really up close to that. There is no sort of like leeway there. There we go. And here we are, this is Derby. Well, that was the steam rail tour so there's no idea where it's actually going it doesn't say probably to matlock or something i mean probably onto the steam railway is there a connection to the steam railway um i think there is but yeah uh, that was that hopefully everyone did enjoy that um i think yeah free rail tour so or free steam rail tour services you will need west cornwall local as well as the steam rail tours pack which was released recently from rivet games to run this run these services you spirit of steam no West Cornwall Local, Steam Rail Tours, yes. Uh, but hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hope to see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.